Hey everybody, Ann here, and today I'm going to review one of these mini evaporative coolers. I got this from Walmart, and it's not the Arctic Air brand. It's just their generic store brand. I think it's like Home Essentials or something like that. Um, I think it was under $30. It may have been under $20 um, because I bought it on sale. So yeah, it's a, it's a compact little unit. Uh, the grill on the front, you can adjust up and down and the the button on the left you it turns it on and off the button on the right controls the fan high and low the little thing in the middle the blue thing with the drops underneath that tells you how much water you've got and if you start running out of water it will turn from blue to red and it is relatively you know quiet running up there is the water tank. You just take that out, unscrew a little cap, and pour your water in, put it back into the machine, and it, the machine kind of sucks some of it down, and you can, you know, add some more water if you need to. So let's check it out. Okay, I was going to break this thing down and show you how to add water, plug it in, how to put the filter in, all that kind of stuff, but you know what? I've decided I'm not going to do that because these evaporative coolers um, are not any better than a plain old fan. In fact, this fan I've got up here and the one that I've got kind of positioned over there, pointing at my beautiful girl, um, work better to cool and move the air than one of these do. So don't spend the money on it. Basically, all it is is a fan that isn't even as high powered as a plain old fan. That one's off right now. So, if you're going to invest in, you know, cooling, don't get an evaporative cooler. I don't even know if that's in focus. Um, don't, don't get one of these little evaporative coolers because it's not worth putting the extra moisture in the air. It really does not cool the air down any more than a plain old fan does. So, just get a fan. Yeah, so even though I'm a little disappointed that it didn't work out, that's okay. You live and learn. You know, I didn't spend a lot of money on it. I just hope that this will help other people who who are, you know, living in vans, looking for solutions to cool their van down, that they won't spend their money on this. And I have to clarify, I live in a humid climate. I live in Ohio, so maybe if you're out in the desert somewhere, maybe this kind of cooler might work better for you. It just it didn't work for me at all. So, you know what? Just invest in a better fan. I do know that I'm going to be getting the ceiling fan installed eventually as soon as I can, but I've also been researching some other options online and I don't know if these would work. This is one of them. It's a self-evaporative a cooler. I mean, you don't have to add water to it. It's just basically they say it's a um, a portable cooler, and you just have to put one of these big hoses onto the back of it, put the other one out a window or something. Then you have to figure out how you're gonna, you know, close off the rest of the window or or whatever it is. But I don't know. I mean, I've got the space for one of these. I just don't know if the unit actually heats up you know, and produces heat while it is cooling. So I don't know. There's lots of options, you know. And as some of these pictures I know, they're, they're going to be of, uh, uh, you know, central air cooling. I couldn't possibly use them in the van like these. But um, I just wanted them for background filler <laughs> for you to have something to look at. So I need your advice. Leave me comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.